Yo, what's going on guys? It's your Alpha, back with another video on Call of Duty Vanguard, and today we got an absolute banger of a video for you guys. We got five tips to instantly improve your KD here in Call of Duty Vanguard. Before we get into the video guys, if you're new, make sure you go down below, smash the like button, subscribe for more, and turn on post notifications. I upload every single day with the best class setups, crazy gameplays, tips and tricks, and more, and I don't want you guys to miss anything. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get right into these tips. <clears throat> Alright, so guys, for the first tip, you're going to want to use good settings in this game. Settings are super, super important in Vanguard to have good movement, have good aim, and just overall be flowing pretty well on this game. If you guys want to see good settings, man, go ahead and go look on my best settings video for Vanguard. I just uploaded it a couple days ago. Settings are absolutely a must-have. Um, uh, I haven't changed anything since, so as far as I'm concerned, they are the best settings to use currently in Vanguard. So go copy them down, man, and give them a try, and hopefully that'll help improve your KD just a little bit. For the second tip, guys, you're going to want to have good aim and good centering slash movement. And if you don't know what centering is, guys, so when you're looking at this gameplay right here, you see the crosshair in the middle of my screen. You want to have that crosshair pretty much centered at all times where you think enemies are going to be coming from. Like, as you can see, when I'm coming in here, I'm looking at that little angle right there. Uh, so when you have that set up, man, you're going to be abusing aim assist essentially man is it just helps you aim better and then for getting good aim uh you might not have good aim right now but there are ways to definitely improve that when i first started playing call of duty man my aim was atrocious and all you got to do man is just every day before you hop on the game go 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 play against some bots shoot some bots man and get that aim just really really good um over time your aim will definitely start to improve that's how i got my aim to improve i played a lot of bots and it just i still play bots to this day just to get my shot warmed up before i play every single day guys and uh for this third tip you're going to have the good kill streaks equipped and you're going to want to play to get those kill streaks and what i mean by that y'all is to use a good kill streaks, as you can see on, my, on this gameplay right here, I'm using the spy plane, dogs, and then local informants. Uh, those are my favorite kill streaks to go for nukes with. Um, you don't have to use those kill streaks; you can use like the bombing run, but just use some kill streaks that you know you can get, and that will give you some good kills. Um, and to do to abuse these kill streaks, guys, you're gonna want to play to get them, whether that be playing passive or if you're playing aggressive and it's working out. And just play to get those streaks. Try to stay alive as long as possible. And I promise it will pay off because some of these kill streaks in this game are insane. Um, for the fourth tip, guys, you guys want to learn the map, every map in this game, and then know how to read the spawns. And when I say learn how to read the spawns, I don't mean you don't you have to know all the spawn points on the map, guys. Like right here, you can see I know they're all spawning at sea, so I know where they're gonna be coming from, and I'm just getting pretty easy kills right here. As you see, I do die, but that's all right. Um, since we're sp I just spawned to A, and we have A captured, uh, and they have C, we pretty much know that they're gonna be spawning at C, and we can kind of just keep them over there and pick them off as soon as they're coming through the map like this and, and stuff like that. Uh, once you guys learn the spawns, like I know how to read the spawns, uh, it will definitely help your gameplay. And you're going to be going on longer streaks, getting better gameplays, more kills, and just overall having a better time on Vanguard. Um, I really started learning the spawns in Call of Duty when I was playing, I think it was BO3, to be honest. Uh, not BO3, maybe not, maybe not BO3. It might have been uh, either BO2 or... Or ghosts, I think. Um, but I did learn. I didn't learn all the spawn points. You don't have to do that. Just learn kind of like where how to read them. Like right now, we just captured C, so they should be spawning over A. And a tip for learning the spawns, guys, is play a lot of domination because it does help you out. If you hear that they're capping A, they're most likely spawning at A. If you hear they're, they're capping C, they're most likely spawning at C. And if you have most of your teammates on one side of the map, they're going to be spawning where your teammates aren't. So that's always the rule of thumb to help read the spawns and know where they're going to be spawning. And the last tip that I do have for you guys is to set yourself up to always get the first shot. In Call of Duty, guys, it is super important because it is a Twitch shooter. You want to get the first shot on your opponent that you're in the gunfight with. And if you get that first shot, more than likely, if you don't miss, you're going to always win those gunfights, especially on Vanguard because the time to kill is super fast. It takes like three bullets to kill sometimes with the gun. And... Once you get those first shots, if you're setting yourself up to get those first shots, it'll be easier to streak up, get those streaks, and improve your KD. Um, 
But those are my five tips, guys. Uh, remember, if you're new, make sure you go down below, smash the like button, subscribe for more, and turn on post notifications. I upload every single day with these types of videos, and I don't want you guys to miss anything. But give these tips a try, y'all. Comment down below when you give them a try and see how they worked out for you. If you need any more tips, I'm always down to give y'all some more tips videos, man. And without further ado, this is your Alpha, signing off.